Hello everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build an instant OR gate and an instant AND gate. And while we're at it, I might as well go over an instant NOT gate. So, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we're going to need to build the control panel. I'll just go over to MP space over here, and let's build the control panel. So, now we need four sort of sets of inputs, because we need one for the input and one for the inverted input. So we'll actually need four sets of inputs. So let's set down repeaters, and these will just be for input. The actual processing will be instant. So there we go. So now we need to build our sort of input mechanism, which goes like this. So, there you go, this is our, our input B, and the other ones are input A. So right now we have a zero and a zero, so these are like our positive and these are our negative. So right now it's a one where I have a zero, if I hit this it should flip it. So we have a one and a zero, so that's good. So that should flip these. And lastly we'll need the run switch, which will be a not gate with a button. This will just be our run switch. And I'll just, I'm building the OR gate first, so I'm just going to label this OR. And this will activate our big system. So now we need our initial pistons. So I'll put down the blocks and just set up our very first bits of instant repeater that we're going to be using. And here we go. So there we go, now I want to hit the button. Only the ones I have turning off should be retracting. Anything that stays on should be staying still. So this is working exactly like I want it. Excellent, we have the input panel set up. So now that we've got the input set up, we have to actually build the full-on OR gate. And we have to think of this a little bit backwards, and I'll show you what I mean. When I hit this run thing, then, actually I'm going to put some wires to make this a little bit more obvious. When I hit the run switch, you notice that the pistons are retracting for the ones that we want to be sent, sent through. So, right now I have this set to zero, so all the pistons that are set to zero are retracting. Meaning, th the wires that turn off are the ones over here. So this is a little bit backwards. So these will be our zero pistons and these will be our one pistons, the zero piston and one piston. So, if the wind on... so let's think of it like this. When do we want our output to turn off? Because this is the way we have to think of it. When do we want our output to turn off? And we want our output to turn off if we have both of the zeros. That's the only case when an OR gate turns off. So zero and zero... so if this piston, zero piston, and this piston, zero piston, and, notice there, if we get both of those, only then do we want to turn it off. So I'm going to build an AND gate slightly differently, because if you plug wires in like this, this also builds a instant AND gate. So, there we go. And now this sh has made our first output. This is our sort of positive output, I guess you could say. So it should be zero if we have both zeros, but an any other case, it should be 1, because it's an OR gate. So there we go. It, it's turning on if it's 1. And again, we do have to sort of think of it a little bit backwards. So now we just need to figure out the negative. Now the negative is going to be the opposite of the positive. So what's the opposite of an AND gate, since that's all we're doing? Well, that's an OR gate. So I'm just going to build an OR gate here, like I showed in the last video. And there we go and put that, and there we go. So now we have both positive and negative outputs, and our instant OR gate should be completed. And there we go, so I've just shown you every single output, there you go, that was the instant OR gate. So now I'm going to show you the instant AND gate. The first thing we're going to have to do is just set up this sort of input thing again. I'm going to do that off camera, so one moment. Okay, and we're back, and I set up an input system for our AND gate. So again, we have to do sort of thinking backwards again. This is a zero piston, this is the one piston, zero piston, one piston. So, when do we want 
our output of the end gate to be off. Well, if we're getting either of the um, either of our inputs, then we want it to be off because the end gate needs both one. So if we're getting either zero, then we need the input to turn off. So this is literally going to be the opposite of the OR gate. So I'm going to build a sort of um, single non this type of OR gate, the other OR gate. And here we go. And this is our first output. So this should only turn on if we're getting both of our inputs because that's when we're not getting any zeros. So if one and one, so there we go. So now we have to do the exact opposite for the um, for the negative output. And the way we do this is exactly like we did in the OR gate. So here we go. We're just going to do AND because AND is the opposite of OR. And there we go. These are our two outputs. And we have successfully built a two output AND gate, which only turns on if both the inputs are on. So there you go, you successfully built an instant an OR gate as well as an instant AND gate. Congratulations. So now I'm going to talk about the XOR gate. We're not actually going to build it in this video, but I'm going to talk about it just to sort of introduce it like I did the other two. And yeah, this one's... yeah. <laughs> it almost speaks for itself at this point. So, if I hit run like it is, I have um, two zeros, so it should give me zero. Actually, you can't even see the output. So I'm going to do some clever trickery. Just do like that. So there we go. You can see I get zero because I have two zeros. If I flip the lever, I get one. So I should get one. And if I flip the other one, I should be getting one. But if I flip both of them, then I should get zero. So yeah, it's an XOR gate. As you can probably tell, this one's a lot more complicated than the other ones. So, this is almost a brute force sort of system for it. And again, big credit to the Voxelbox for this design. I definitely could not do this on my own. And yeah, if you know the regular sort of logic for the um, XOR gate, which is not A and B or not B and A. That's sort of the logic for an XOR gate. Then you might have a sort of an idea of how it works. Again, this is all sort of inverted, so it's pretty much the inverse of that. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to build that in the next video. But yeah, this is the XOR gate. And this is what we'll be covering in the next tutorial. So thank you, and see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed.